So we're so in love with succulents and things you can do with them, we've decided that we'd give you a little demonstration on making an awesome wreath for your door that both needs low water, can survive in some shade as well as blazing sun, and is something no one in your neighborhood's gonna have. All right, so I'm with Emily today, and she's gonna show us, because she's the one that makes the beautiful wreaths and all the little succulents here. So we're gonna take this wreath. This is a flat back wreath. It'll be real simple. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna turn it into something. So, Emily, come on, tell me what to do, because you know I'm not so smart. All right, well, first things first, this wreath, if you turn it over, you can pop the back off. You want to fill it with soil, pack it in really nice. Once that's done, you want to turn it over and we can start placing our succulents inside of the wreath. So I like to use a variety of sizes. You can find four inch succulents at any of your local nurseries. You want to take it out of the pot, take some of the soil off of the surrounding succulent just so that we have sort of like a plug-like root ball that we can just stick inside of our wreath. You're going to make a hole in the cocoa moss like so and then you're going to go ahead and place your succulent inside, plant it in there. So you do the you do the biggest succulents first and then you're going to do the smallest ones? I do. I like to arrange um, an asymmetrical wreath is what I like to do. Some people like symmetry. I like to just make a few big succulents and mix in the smaller ones afterwards. So I'll probably do two of the big ones and we'll place this in there just like we did the first one. Yeah, cram that little sucker in there. Okay. Once you got that going, you can find little succulent plugs as well. These are really small little echeverias and we're going to use this to infill the rest of the wreath. So you can just place that in there like that and a, probably a few would fit in the hole that you make. Alright so what we're going to do is because this looks like this is going to take hours. It will. <laughs> it's going to take hours. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a break. We're going to let you whip one of these little suckers up and then we're going to come back and we're going to take a look at what the completed, finished succulent wreath looks like. This is Chad and Emily from TheGardenGates.com. Alright, so this is Chad and Emily back. You can see she's been working her little fingers to the bone here. She's been filling it in. And so what are some of the things that you did? You, you used a, a moss, right? I did. I used some sphagnum moss. Um... This is something that we sell on our website or you can find it somewhere else. Um, just to infill, I like to cover up the cocoa moss and just tuck this around all the succulents. And you can use the frame of the wreath as support so that your moss stays in place. I think it just gives it a nicer finished look. Um, because sometimes, you know, if you don't want to fill all of your wreath up like we did with succulents you could substitute with the moss which is more inexpensive and it also gives it just a nice look against the succulents yeah a nice little organic look it is it's really nice all right so we're going to take this and we're going to finish it up we're going to throw a ribbon around it to hang it from our entrance door here and we're going to give you a look at how it finishes off and how nice it'll look up against the door at your home all right we'll be back in a few all right, so you can see that we've taken our wreath, we've added a nice ribbon and hung it from a simple hook on our door. See how pretty it looks with the colors up against our blue, little robin eggs blue door. We have a nice sword fern next to it. You can see in a nice little raised Campania pot. Makes a nice entrance, but what's more important is that the succulents require so little water they can live on a door. I mean, and you probably water, oh, maybe every seven to 10 days, and you could probably go further. If you forget to water, the only thing you have to do is start watering that wreath again, and you'll bring it right back to life. Thanks again, this is Chad and Emily from thegardengates.com giving you a nice idea for a door with our succulent wreath project.